The 73 forms flow like a river, smooth, agile and serene. Underneath the tranquil flowing water, there is an immense power, the power for health and wellness. Dr. Paul Lam, a family physician and Tai Chi expert for more than 30 years, is one of the most respected Tai Chi teachers and a world leader in the field of Tai Chi for health improvement. How to use this program. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. To get the best out of this program, please view the introduction before starting the lessons. Watch and enjoy a brief history of Tai Chi, see the different styles, find out about the contents and the benefits you can expect from learning the 73 forms. When you're ready to start the lessons, please set aside a regular time every day to learn and practice. Consider asking some friends to join you too. Be sure to do warm-up exercises before you start and cooling down exercises before you finish. This DVD is like having lessons with me. It comes with many repetitions to save you pressing buttons. It does take some time to go through all the movements. A good pace would be learning one or two movements per session of half to one hour. Practice regularly until you're familiar with the forms before moving on. In my Tai Chi school in Sydney, our students take close to one year, one lesson per week to learn the entire 73 form and the rest of the year to refine the set. Many continue to progress and enjoy practicing this set for many years, like myself. Enjoy your Tai Chi journey. I look forward to meet with you in person one day. You're welcome to email me if you have any questions. At the end of the DVD, Dr. Lam will demonstrate the entire set from the front and then the back on views. You can use the back on view to follow him and practice with him once you have learned the program. Be sure to view Stay Safe before you start practicing Dr. Lamb's lessons. Introduction Tai Chi originated from ancient China. Nowadays, most people practice Tai Chi for health and relaxation. Created based on law of nature, Tai Chi strengthens the mind and body. Integration of the mind and body can be achieved through the ongoing practice of Tai Chi. It is suitable for almost anyone and can be practiced anywhere. The flowing movements contain much inner strength, like water flowing in a river. Beneath the tranquil surface, there is a current with immense power, the power for healing and wellness. There are many styles and forms of Tai Chi, each with their unique feature and characteristics. However, all styles and forms of Tai Chi share similar essential principles. Chang is the older style that contains more complexity and vigorous movements. Yang contains gentle, graceful and expansive movements. Sun style was created by Mr. Sun Lok Tang in the 20th century. Mr. Sun was a well-known exponent of the Xin Yi train and Ba Gua train, two of the most famous Chinese internal martial arts. Internal martial arts place great emphasis on Qigong, which is a special technique to cultivate the inner life energy. Mr. Sung has incorporated this internal art to create his own unique style of Tai Chi. That's why Sung style is characterized by that unique and powerful Qigong. For example, 
open and close. Seems so simple, but it's very powerful. It cultivates qi. It enhances serenity, and it also works as a joint for two movements. And for years, I practice this open and close. I get to know it better and find deeper layers of the meaning. Sun style is also characterized by agile steps and flowing movements like water in a river. It has higher stances and smaller steps. When I first started learning the Sun style, I was amazed at how quickly I began to feel the internal energy or the qi as in Chinese. Yet Sun style looks so easy and so effortless. The more I work on Sun style, the more I experience the depth and the pressure of practicing it. So when I start composing the Tai Chi for Health programs, Sun style is always an essential part of every single program. And in the Tai Chi for Arthritis program, it is purely all Sun style movements because of its special healing power and the safety features. I sincerely hope you will enjoy it as much and gain as much health benefit as I do with this set. In recent years, numerous medical studies have shown Tai Chi improves almost all aspects of health. Tai Chi improves physical health, especially muscular strength, flexibility and fitness. It relaxes the mind and improves mental balance to help manage stress. Tai Chi brings harmony and tranquility, providing us with inner peace and enabling us to listen and understand others better, thus improving relationship. Tai Chi is also a very nice social exercise because it's different, so it's refreshing. And because it's non-competitive, you can do that with your friends, your family, your work colleagues, and it's wonderful to build bondings between friends and it's fantastic to build team spirit between your workmates. Learning Tai Chi empowers us to improve health and quality of life. It can be an enjoyable exercise for a lifetime. Stay safe. Please consult your health professionals if you are in doubt whether any part of this program is safe for you. Be sure to move well within your comfort zone. If you don't feel comfortable doing a movement, visualize yourself doing it fully, but only move within your comfort zone. For example, if in doing a single whip, you feel uncomfortable to stretch this far, visualize yourself doing the same, but only step to where it's comfortable to you. And with regular practice, you will gain more flexibility and gradually you'll be able to do more and more. Begin your session with warm-up exercises and end with cool-down exercises. Practice in a safe and comfortable environment. Wear loose, comfortable clothing and flat, well-fitted shoes. Continue your session only for as long as you feel comfortable. Listen to your body and rest when you start feeling tired, in pain or lose concentration. Regular practice will keep your muscles well toned, thus minimize the risk of injury. Gradually build up the length and number of practice sessions, aiming for about half to one hour for most days. A good guide is to practice for the length of time you can walk comfortably at a steady pace. Section 1 
I am going to follow a similar format with all my lessons. Firstly, I will show you the entire movement. Then I break it up into small parts and teach one part at a time. But I always start from the beginning of each movement. Dr. Lam will start with explaining the hand and foot positions. Sung style has unique feature of Qigong. And the hands are a little bit more open. So it forms a gentle concavity, as though your hands are resting on a big ball little concavity and fingers gently spread out and most of the time when you do the Sun style forms this is your hand shape. Sun style is also characterized by agile steps. Every time you step forward you follow step. Every time you step backwards it follows. I will show you. Step forward, heel first, put your foot down and then follow about one foot distance and with a slight angle, about 30 degrees. Then when you step back, weight back and then you bring your left foot back a little with your knee slightly bent, with the ball of the foot touching ground but practically no weight on the foot in the front. This is also called an empty stance. So you step forward, heel first, weight, follow step, and you step backwards, weight back, and adjust your left foot, just move back a tiny little bit, and your knee slightly bent only, and that is very strenuous for the leg. So if you feel uncomfortable, make sure you stand up. It's a good idea to practice both sides. Right side, follow. Step back, weight back, and make an empty stance by following step. Step forward, follow step. Stepping back, follow. Dr. Lam will demonstrate Form 1, Commencement Form. From the start, check your posture. Make sure you are upright but not tense. And relax your shoulder and let your fingers gently stretch downwards. And visualize your body from the top to the bottom like a string. You gently stretch it with your fingers pointing down and your feet is placed in heels almost touching and your foot pointed out about 90 degrees but if you're uncomfortable it's just as okay to open up so when feet together at the first move it's like the world of Tai Chi is started with an infinitive universe and then it separate into yin and yang by lifting the right toe up, turn it so that your right foot is facing straight ahead and yin and yang are coming together. I would like to introduce Janet. Hello. Hi Janet. She's a doctor and a Tai Chi teacher so it's going to help me with the first half of the 73 forms. Focus, check your posture, shift weight to the left, lift the ball of the right foot up, turn it so that it's now pointing straight ahead. Let's do that again. Shift weight. Lift the right foot, turn the inwards. One more time. Lift foot, turn your body at the same time. 
Form 2, Leisurely Tying Coat. Bring your hands up slowly, breathing in slowly to about shoulder width apart. And then bring your hands down slowly, bend your knees slowly, and then towards your Dantian area. At the same time, make your hands closer to the width of your head. Follow me. Follow Dr. Lamb. Hands up slowly, breathing. And then hands down slowly, bend your knees, and then bring your hand closer and towards your Dantian area, which is just below your belly button. Do that again. From beginning, hands up, breathing. Hands down. Breathe out, bend your knees. One more time. Hands up. Hands down. Bring your hands up along your chest, finger pointing forward and push your hands forward. Take a step forward and follow step. And the Sung style following step, you follow so that both feet separated by roughly one feet distant and on a slight ankle. Follow Dr. Lamb. Hangs up slowly, breathing. Hangs down slowly, breathe out. Hands up along your chest, take a step forward, push the hands forward, follow step. Let's do that again. Hands up. Hands down, bend your knees. Hands up along your chest, take a step forward, push your hands forward, Follow step. One last time. Hands up, breathing. Hands down, breathe out. Take a step forward and follow step. Turn the right heel inwards and turn the left toe inwards. At the same time, you place your left hand next to the right wrist. And then you continue to turn, lift the right toe up and turn it to facing 90 degree. Follow Dr. Lamb. Hands up. Hands down. Take a step forward, push your hands forward, follow step. Turn the right heel inwards, turn the left toe inwards, turn the right toe out. Do that again. Hands up. Hands down. Step forward, turn the right heel in, left toe in, right toe out. Again, hands up, down, step, follow. Right heel in, 
และทวิง Using the left hands to push the right hand along, continue to turn to where it's comfortable to you. Then, almost like recoiling back, your hands come back to the front of your shoulder as though you're going to carry a tray or a plate and you bring the right toe back. Follow Dr. Lam. Left hand push the right hand to where it's comfortable to you and then coming back to the body. One more time. Left hand push the right hand, then it comes back here. One more time. Continue to turn and the toe comes back, hands comes back. Take a step forward and then like a little subtle turn. Left hand push right hand forward and follow step. Follow Dr. Lam. Left hand push the right hand, come back. Take a small step forward and left hand push the right hand forward, follow step. Let's do that again. Left hand push the right hand around, come back carrying that tray, take a step forward and push. Well, I wouldn't suggest you do it, but just, just in case you need to remember this, Imagine you're a waiter in a restaurant and you don't like these customers. You got this pipe or let's say a cream cake and you just push it on his face. But don't do it. Try it again. Turn, carrying this plate. Take a step forward and gently push it forward. Follow us to do the complete form together. Hands up. Hands down. Step forward, push forward, follow step. Turn the right heel in, turn the left toe in, Continue to turn back, take a step forward, and push forward. Form 3, opening hands. Form 4, closing hands. Demonstration by Dr. Lamb. Dr. Lam will demonstrate the entire set from the front and then the back on views. You can use the back on view to follow and practice with Dr. Lam. Face to face teaching is invaluable. Dr. Lam recommends you either find a suitable instructor or attend one of the classes by his certified instructors or a workshop by him.
Previews. Hello and welcome. In 1974, when I graduated from medical school, my arthritis became worse. I took up Tai Chi to help me manage the condition. It has been a life-changing and still is a life-changing experience for me. Tai Chi certainly improved my arthritis and enabled me to enjoy my chosen and very busy lifestyle. I have seen the same impressive results with thousands of people over the years. By now, numerous studies have shown Tai Chi improve almost all aspects of health. In particular, a good number of studies have shown our program are effective at improving quality of life, health, and improving balance, leading to people with less pain and less force. Dr. Marlene Franson, Chief Investigator of the largest ever published Tai Chi for Arthritis study, explains the results of her study. In our study, we found that Tai Chi for Arthritis um, greatly improved joint pain and physical function for people with osteoarthritis of the hips or knees. Dr. Paul Lamb's team of Tai Chi and medical experts have produced several series of instructional DVDs for students of varying interests and levels. These range from beginner series to improve health and lifestyle to the advanced series to expand your skill. Using his simple and proven teaching method, Dr. Lamb will show you the forms step by step from different angles with close-ups, repetitions, illustrating them with diagrams and footprints. He divides a form into small sections so you can follow him with ease. He also explains the Tai Chi principles and the inner meaning of the forms and how to improve your Tai Chi. Dr. Lamb has taken much time and care to make every DVD useful. When producing the Tai Chi for Arthritis DVD, he worked closely with the Arthritis Foundation of America to maximize the health benefits for the users. Dr. Patience White, Chief Public Health Officer of Arthritis Foundation in USA, explains the reason why Arthritis Foundation collaborates with Dr. Lamb. We at the Arthritis Foundation are excited that you're interested in Tai Chi for Arthritis, brought to you by Dr. Paul Lam, a worldwide renowned expert in Tai Chi, and the Arthritis Foundation, your number one place to go for arthritis information. Tai Chi for Energy and Tai Chi for Beginners are presented as virtual lessons. It will be like as though you are participating in Dr. Lam's class. Here is a list of beginners, health, intermediate, and advanced series. Our Tai Chi and medical team really enjoy making useful material that makes a difference for people. And I look forward to hear from you. For a complete range of Dr. Lamb instructional DVDs, books, music CDs and charts, please visit Dr. Lamb's website at TaiChiProductions.com.